Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day in this video. I wanted to express all the issues that I've been having with HiveOS uh, with this whole LHR 100% unlock that uh, I believe everyone's literally trying to do right now. And everyone has been expressing that nobody can download, nobody can install like the latest NVIDIA driver that they need for uh, HiveOS 510.60.02. Uh, that's the one I installed according to uh, NVMiner expressing 510.60. So, and I've, I've heard other people said the new version, like 5.12 or something, works better. But then some people said it doesn't and it crashes all the time and you get an error. And I don't know what to believe. <laughs> There's just been so many issues I've been hearing from everyone. And so that's what I want to express in this video. But the biggest one I want to explain right now first before I talk about uh, like T-Rex Miner, uh, everything else and uh, issues that everyone else is having is how to download the nvidia driver manually okay so not through hiveos.farm and so before we begin real quick this video is sponsored by nerdgears.com if you guys are looking for graphics cards uh, power supplies and notoriously the 30 amp 240 volt pdu which they have in stock you guys have probably seen these on my channel really nice way to measure the volt and amps on 240 volt 30 amp 80 percent rule would be about 5700 watts or so link down below if you are interested use offer code red pen pen for two percent off your whole order so going along going along let's talk about the issue with hive os okay so right now hive os has been hammered or as you watch this video it may not be but as a lot of people that i've noticed during the day have it has expressed that their nvidia driver has failed to install downloading nb miner downloading t-rex miner or whatever failed to install and so this is a very easy way to bypass the download.hiveos.farm. So there's just this simple run command here. And I'll have this all linked down below in case anyone is still running into these issues. Okay, for downloading NVIDIA driver or downloading uh, NVMiner. NVIDIA-driver-update and then the link to download 510.60.02. So you just copy this whole string here between the quotes. Okay, copy that. Then you're going to go to your mining rig. At the top of HiveOS here, there's a run command button. Okay, so here, this is where you will paste in the uh, NVIDIA driver update string here. Okay, and you'll just press run and it should install. Make sure, I, I would like to, I should have mentioned before, but stop the miner. If it's mining, I'd like to stop it so that it just has more processing power in theory. If you have an older driver like 470 or something, then update to 510.60402 for your LHR cards. And that should do it. And then the next step is uh, if you're already mining on NB miner 41.0 and you know, HiveOS right now as of recording, watch it, have it the next day when you guys watch this, uh, they didn't have the new version 41.1 uh, yet the beta yet on natively in the upgrade procedure in hive os here so it's not there but if you want to do it manually like i did and i noticed a little bit more stableness i'll talk about this in a sec then you go ahead and you run the command it's going to be this command down here okay so this one here uh this will be 41.1 41.1 41.1 and then this will be 41.0 41.0 yeah and uh, yeah, I'll have that link down below so that you can update to the latest version that, that I have right here, uh, which has been really good. Okay, so yeah, you can download the NVIDIA driver manually. You can download the NB miner from the, their GitHub and not through HiveOS. That is why it, it's been failing. And if it's still failing, failing after, you know, you've been doing it manually, just restart the rig. Okay, I find that to be helpful and uh, stop the miner. Okay, as it boots up and then... Uh, you'll have a clean slate and then update the driver, update the miners, and you'll get the full 100% unlock for your LHR GPUs if you're using NB miner and such. Oh, I'll have the T-Rex miner string in the in the comment down below as well, pin comment, but I would, I, I think I would hold off. T-Rex miner doesn't have it as stable as NB miner. That's what I've been seeing and that's what I've been hearing. Um, let's see here. So I did, I did post a community post about T-Rex miner releasing there. 100% unlocker, right? Unlock software, and uh, which is awesome. But a lot of people said crashes a lot. Wait for the stable release. This is beta. Uh, let's see here. Uh, some people said so far so good. Odd that they're all coming out at the same time. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, not anywhere close to stable. Nice hash excavator is not stable either. So far, NB miner has been super stable for me. Ah, so some people have. Uh, yeah, I've been hearing a lot about 
excavator nice hash excavator if you guys don't know that they were the first to come out with the 100 unlock and lhr unlocker and then literally the next day nb miner came out mainly for us linux users and it hasn't been great i think overall across the board for windows users and even linux users like us me myself i haven't had great results so let me quickly just go through my lhr cards that i have which i have a lot right now and uh so my 3060s and 3070 ti rig here very small rig it's been good it was not good before with 41.0 as you guys can see here but after i installed 41.1 it's been super solid ever since just 50 mega hash on my 3060s and uh, 80 mega hash on my 3070 ti so that's all well and good but my 3060 ti with hynix memory gpus these are the zotac uh 3060 ti's and they're just horrible like these are just the worst gpus i'm i'm getting 58 to 59 mega hash and yeah these are not efficient at all like i try to go above 2000 memory and it just crashes Con uh, my rig still crashes constantly if i up the power limit like actually if i take away the power limit then the then the rig is a little bit more stable and it gets a little bit more mega hash but it's not efficient like these 3060 hynix gpus are I don't know. They're just horrible. I tried minus 500 as well, and I didn't get any great results. It didn't even mine. So I don't know what's up with these GPUs. You guys can let me know if you had that issue as well. Then my 3070s, I, let's see if this has an issue. I had an issue with, uh, it's, it's been okay on my 3070s. It was great on 41.1 or 41.0. But when I went to 41.1, one of, or two of the GPUs, the hash rate cut in half and it lost the fan speed. It went to zero and so I, I was talking with a few people other people have been having that issue as well so i, I can't be the only one where uh the instability with the new version or even the old version came up and also depending on your overclocks uh, I, I did lower the overclock from 2300 to 2100 because that's that's what i've been told that changing the overclock a little bit in increments will help with if you had that issue of your graphic card losing hash rate or you're getting a zero percent fan or just the mining rig just stalls or uh, you know freezes then simply just lowering the memory on all your cards in a little bit uh, increment just to see if it, when it gets stable is like the best way to essentially troubleshoot and make sure your rig is stable uh, with all these even you know nb minor does state here uh, if you run into issues please change the driver to recommended versions and set your mem clock to 100 to 200 megahertz lower that previous lhr partial unlock situation so that's literally one of the biggest troubleshooting methods for this if you have major issues stability issues you just have to play with your overclocks and that's literally i'm still going through that and so it's yeah the lhr unlock is not perfect yet but hey it's great that they have it in hive os here uh yeah my 3070 ti's are yeah they were pr really unstable for me um i i don't know it's been okay now i was getting 80 mega hash on most of them but had the memory i was getting gpu driver error Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah, GPU driver error issues. And so I just dropped the memory down from like 2400 to 2000. And it's been a little bit better now. Uh, but I'm not getting the 80 mega hash, which is kind of sad. But I'm just going to, it's been okay for a little bit. It's been okay for a long time, even on 41.1 as well. So yeah, uh, just, I'm sure, I'm sure this software is going to get better. And then I can, I can up the memory on it. And then my last rig here is my 3080 LHR and 3080 Ti. So, uh, yeah, I can get now almost 100 mega hash on my 3080 Zotac Trinity, and then on my 3080 Ti, I I was getting like 120 mega hash, but then it now the hash rate's kind of died down to 111. So I'm thinking this thing is actually thermal throttling. So I will need to thermal pad this or something. Yeah, probably. And uh, yeah, my, uh, yeah, I'm not getting great results on this card 3080. So let's get like 120 mega hash, right? So. Anyways, guys, yeah, uh, I yeah, my my rigs are not perfect. I'm I'm still getting in unstable means, but uh, I'm still playing with my overclocks, and I, I think that's what most people are doing anyway. And yeah, I did do the video of NB Miner 100% unlock in the video previous video yesterday, but yeah, I didn't explain after that. I was I was having a lot of issues, and a lot of you guys also expressed in that video in the in the comments that uh, some people said it's been stable, some people said instabil instability. Uh, yeah, a lot of people said it's not great and uh, I think I can express that but I think that also goes along with Hive OS uh, Downloading NB miner and the Nvidia driver has just been dog slow for a lot of people But again, I'll have in the pinned comment down below all the run commands. Okay that you have to do 
in HiveOS here if you wanted to update the driver manually instead of downloading it from HiveOS, uh, which took uh, took forever as everyone is just, I'm sure, piling on, trying to download everything, right? That's literally what's happening. Okay, my friends, I think that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys are using for mining. If T-Rex Miner has been good for you or NB Miner or Nice Hash Excavator, whichever ones. Uh, yeah, still waiting for G Miner to come out, probably G Miner and uh, whoever else is going to come out with this. Maybe Phoenix Miner will is going to come out of the woodworks. That'd be, that'd be pretty funny. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. Have a good one and peace out.